boy meets girl. It happens all the time. Heck, if it didn't happen, we as a species wouldn't propagate. It's one of the most basic cultural touchstones. But as a cultural touchstone, it doesn't see nearly as much play in the video game sphere as shoot this guy in the head or get to the finish line. Eco sent out to change that. Set aside overwrought JRPG love triangles, fabled trophy wives, and the occasional Grand Theft Auto hooker. This is about something much more basic and pure. Boy meets girl, but let's take a step back. Boy was born with horns. Boys with horns are bad luck and ill omen that cannot be suffered. Boy is going to be killed. Boy manages to escape due to poor masonry. Boy treks through castle looking to escape until he comes upon a cage high above the floor. Boy sends cage crashing to the ground. Boy meets girl. Girl is glowing. No, seriously, glowing like she's been using skin cream with strontium-90. Girl speaks in moon runes. No, seriously, moon runes. Girl is apparently going to be a sacrifice to her mother, the queen, as a kind of horrifyingly morbid plastic surgery. Boy cannot abide. He makes it his goal to spring the both of them from this joint and live happily ever after, because that's how these things go, right? And then the shadows manifest corporeal forms and try to drag her off. And your only recourse is to beat off the invaders with a stick. And later a sword. Should they succeed in dragging her down into the special anomaly from which they spawn, it's game over. Fortunately, you can give her a hand and drag her out, as well as lead her by the hand around the various obstacles you come upon. Eco can run, jump, climb, swing, push, pull, sidle, call, lift, drop, throw, hit things with a stick, and survive pretty long falls, but his luminous charge isn't nearly as agile. Scout ahead, find terrain to alter and switches to throw, but keep an eye on her in case the shadows get uppity again. Here's the good news. The princess is in this castle. We know this to be a fact. The bad news is it's getting out with her that's the problem. Calling this an action-adventure puzzle might be a bit of a mouthful, but that's as accurate a descriptor as you're going to get. There's plenty of action, lots of adventure, and a healthy dose of puzzles. Not to mention gorgeous visuals, a fantastic symphonic score to contrast with the ambient wildlife and wind atmosphere, and in this remastered PS3 version, a series of interviews, development footage, dynamic themes, and other bonus content. Eco pushed the PS2 to the breaking point back in its day, and despite some of the worst cover art this side of Mega Man, was one of the most well-regarded works on that oh-so-popular box. It's not a massive undertaking. Heck, there's a trophy for finishing the game in under four hours. Sure, it's a four-hour-long escort quest, but it's also one of the greatest stories ever played.